Hey guys, Jenna here, and I am on set and got to take a little bit of a break, so I thought I would tell you guys all about the H4N Zoom versus the Audio-Technica shotgun mic and compare it to the onboard sound on the camera. The H4N, I really like using it, but I don't usually use the mics on it because I like to hook it up with the Audio-Technica shotgun mic because I feel like it has a little bit better sound compared to the mics on the H4N, but if you have a smaller budget and you can only get one, definitely check out the H4N because the mics do sound a lot better than the onboard mic. And I, and I recommend do not use the onboard mic on your camera. It sounds bad and you'll be able to hear it and be able to realize that you wanna go with one of these types of mics for any shoots that you do. H4N has the wind muff protecting it. It makes it so it's not as harsh of the wind hitting up against the mics, which is why the shotgun sounds really good because it does have the wind protector on it. So if I take off the wind muff from the shotgun, you'll also hear that the wind does hit the mic. So if you are going to be shooting outside, you definitely want to get one of these. And the shotgun mics do come with a smaller sponge, and the sponge is for indoor shooting, and, but it doesn't work that well outside. So I definitely recommend getting some sort of a wind muff protector. So now, as you can hear, it's much crisper and not so rattly against the microphone. So both of these, at the time that I bought them, were $300. As of now, I believe you can get them for about $250, depending on where you go. Definitely check out Amazon, they have some good deals. The convenient thing with the H4N is that it reads SD cards, which is compatible with mini card readers, and you can put it into the newer MacBook Pros. Okay, so I am outside. Uh, traffic is to the left of me, so uh, a little bit loud, not the best place that you would want to go filming at, but it kind of seems it always happens. <laughs> so I have both sound pointed at me at pretty much the same distance and um, in the same direction as well. With the Audio Technica, I do have the wind muff on it, so that helps it. And with the zoom, you can tell that it's not picking up very well. Well, it, it's picking up the wind while the onboard mic with the camera tends to pick up everything. I guess we have a train that's going by us in the background. <laughs> How fun. I think Gizmo wants to go on it. You wanna go for a ride? Oh boy, oh boy, somebody's excited. Hey, no, Gizmo, no! So we're here on the Santa Monica Pier. I figured this would be a great place to test out our mics because a lot of people want to shoot the ocean. You know, it's very beautiful, very pretty. The only side effect is that it is loud. There's always a lot of people, there's a lot of winds, and the waves are pretty, pretty loud as well. So let's just try to figure out how we can reduce all that noise and make it sound a lot better before we get into post. And we're gonna test the H4N super windy and then we're also testing with the audio technica without the wind muffs as you can hear with the h4n it is pretty harsh i had the levels down very 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 low they're at about a six uh, if i got them up any higher i would be peaking but with the audio technica you do not have to bring it down that low because it does have the wind muff on which protects from all this wind so i'm going to add a little wind muff to the h4n so you can hear that all of that nasty wind sound disappears oh the wind muff's just sticking out of my pocket the whole time that's funny well i'm putting it on with the audio technica it it's a directional mic, so it's not going to pick up all these people. It's going to pick up just my voice. Same with the H4N, they're directional mics, so it's going to do the same thing. It's going to try to just pick up what's in front. And then with the wind muff, it protects whatever wind that hits the mic. So I'm going to take off the wind muff from the Audio Technica. It's not peaking as bad as when we took the wind muff off of the H4N, which is nice. 
I don't have to put it down all the way to a six. I, I have it at about a 61. So you'll definitely not want to use your onboard mic with the camera because it's going to pick up all the noise that is walking by. It's going to pick up the wind. It's going to also pick up the waves and it's just literally going to pick up everything and you that's the worst sound. So I would definitely recommend either going with the H4N. I, the mic, you can tell that it is pretty good once you have the wind muff on. And then the Audio Technica, I would say definitely if you're going to get an H4N, eventually you should get a shotgun mic just to get a better, better sound quality. It's Giz Gizmo, why don't you come out and say hello? Gizmo! Oh, so excited, Gizmo! Oh, so excited! Oh, no, you gotta go the other way! So excited, Gizmo! I know, I know! What? What? See, so Gizmo really liked the video. Oh. Well, I hope you guys liked our review on the H4N versus the Audio Technica and against the onboard camera mic. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them below. Click the like button, subscribe. We put out videos every Tuesday. I don't know what he's looking at. Oh, oh, look at that. He's a professional sound person as well. <laughs>